Hello guys, my name is Willem. Welcome to LRDX Cars. Today I'm going to make a test drive in the latest Volkswagen ID3, they call it. In the last video, you saw I was making a test drive in the ID bus. It was also quite a fun video, so uh, if you want to know more about the latest cool hippie van, then uh, go watch that video. And in this video, we're going uh, to test out this cool ID3. It's more of the city car, not that big of a car. The difference is immediately when you see that normally you would have like the mode engager right here, but now it's upwards, almost attached to this small central screen where you have like a view of how hard you're driving and uh, how much range is left. Then in the center you have like the cool media display we'll go through in a minute, but I uh, already put it in reverse like you see, beautiful uh, clear look here of the rear, and here you see the ID bus that I did a test drive with. Then we're going for a small drive, this car I have a bit longer. To me than the ID bus. Mm -hmm. And in drive. There we go. Quite fun. No sound of course on the electric cars. But I like the new look of the Volkswagen range, the ID range. It's a good look. Now the battery is 70% charged and it says 240 kilometers. So we'll see in a half an hour after the drive how much is still left. I think it's claimed around the same as the ID bus that it's uh, almost 400 kilometers, 420 they call it at the ID bus. And I mean, you feel. This car, of course, because it's lighter, it's smaller, it uh, is faster off. I'm gonna check that for you guys. But uh, yeah, I think this zero to one hundred time will be quite a lot faster than the ID bus. Probably more like six or seven seconds from zero to one hundred or from zero to sixty. And again, the new design here on the interior of the Volkswagen ID cars with the nice media display in the center where you can interact with you have your park assist, your climate control which uh, is easy to use, easy to place, it's put high up so you can still have a, a good view on the road, you have four hazards you can some assist it's quite nice on the ID cars of Volkswagen you have a lot of assists these days you have like keeping the distance of the car in front of you you have like keeping a lane you have like that it can even when you're driving it in cruise control you can even almost like follow the car in front that it keeps its distance it's like a lot of comfort and ease when you're driving a, a car like this and i quite like it then you have again near the mode button like you had the other ID cars with the eco mode, of course, to save the battery, the comfort mode, where we're driving now and to drive a bit comfortable, sport mode, if you want to give like a good push um, at the stopping lights, or the individual mode, if you want to set things yourself a bit, to uh, maybe want the suspension a bit softer, but the steering a bit tighter, things like that. Easy to use, easy to uh, have a look at, almost the same as we had in the ID bus. Here you can connect your phone, you have like the radio, media, which that you have like a good view, radio, media, when your phone is connected of course, with Bluetooth, navigation, you have a view here of the map, that you can have like a, a clear view, zoom out, quite nice you already see is that you see where you can charge the car everywhere, it's quite nice that you don't need to uh, search that much for it. <laughs> That's not smart of that guy. He was waiting and now changes lane. <laughs> yeah, good uh, clear view here. We're driving a Lommel. 
city where I was born. And here we go, guys. Yeah, nice push. This car is uh, quite fun to drive, a bit more sporty. Maybe uh, drive it a bit in sport <laughs> when we have the chance. Yeah, quite cool, though. Again, a lot of storage space here, two cup holders. You can even a storage net. Here in the center, like you see, I put my phone. And you can even put it in between here, which is quite fun. Then we can maybe charge it up, I think. That's quite handy. Then here in the center, open that up. You have even more storage space, more charging ports here too, even in the center. The side, a lot of storage space. And it's quite... I don't know how they done it with the door design, I think, maybe, but it feels quite spacious inside, quite big, but again, a lot of good, clear view around you. But here, the window in between, yeah, the dashboard is, isn't that big, normally, uh, yeah, we would sit a bit, I think, underneath the dashboard with a lot of cars, but this dashboard is made quite small, so you have like a lot of legroom, like you can see, I think for guys that are bigger than two meters, it's even quite nice to sit, quite comfortable, quite easy, cool uh, steering wheel look of it, quite like it. In front of me is driving an ID4, almost the same as this, but again, uh, just a little bit bigger. They're also doing a, a test drive, like you see. <laughs> it's a testing day at VW this weekend. They uh, gave me the chance to drive this cool car. Not like I said, this small screen just to uh, know the speed and how much battery is left. I'm gonna drive a bit here. Not on the highway, but uh, between the houses, maybe go to a center because that's where you will be driving most of the time a car like this. It's small city car it's as big as a vw golf because you have like three decent spaces in the back even for three adults to sit so uh that's quite nice we will also uh, check around but uh, like i said nice and spacious like room enough here because the doors are not that big and they're made a bit inward i think or the design of it i don't know but it gives you a nice spacious feeling to it Just nice to cruise around in. Quite like it. Again, finished with leather and sort of Zweden Alcantara. This one has no uh, wood veneer or anything to it. Just some, uh, yeah, I'm gonna call it black plastic, but it looks quite good. It's just gloss black on the, on the finishes. It's a nice look. Let's stand still. Yeah, it's, it's quite fun to drive electric cars these days. Guys, I'm gonna be honest, I'm a sports car guy, a big V8 guy, a V12 guy, a guy even a V10, no, big engines is, uh, is my thing, because I love the sound of cars. But yeah, I'm also a bit, I'm a young guy, like you see, I'm also a bit, um, I get it, that we need to drive uh, electric cars, I get it, it's better for the, the planet it's yeah we need to do something about our footprint but i think driving them and thinking about it i get more and more used to it i even quite start to like them of course i would also want a nice sports car but to drive every day you can't actually drive anywhere fast you're most of the time waiting on all the stoplights so um yeah a V8, it's fun to drive on a track or to drive on a nice uh, mountain road. But actually to drive every day to, to take your kids to school. An electric car is the future, guys. Not gonna complain about it. They drive good. They sort of, I don't know, I also did like a review about the Hyundai. Normally I'm not the biggest Hyundai guy. But uh, they have a lot of luxury inside nowadays, the electric cars. So of course, because they start from a bit higher price point. The ID bus, I didn't say it starts from 65,000 euros. I think this one will be about 50,000 euros. So yeah, it's not as cheap as maybe a Volkswagen Golf would be. 
although it's probably also 40,000 euros. But uh, yeah, they are more expensive, so you would expect more of them, not only that they are deductible as a self-employed and things like that, but also that uh, yeah, they have nice finish to them, a good quality on the interior, on the buttons, that they, yeah, it's not all, uh, yeah, all, all plastic, all a uh, bit of a sheep feeling. And this car actually, again with the bus, nice finishes to it, looks cool, looks quite... Um, Designful, I don't know how to say it, looks artistic and uh, it's a nice place to sit. Quite like it. Nice and easy to drive again, not hard on the brakes. Steering is quite nice and light. Steers even quite tight, I say quite light, but it's quite a direct steering, which I like personally. I don't want uh, that you can turn all, all the way around, that uh, yeah, it's not uh, going anywhere. <laughs> yeah, cool car. Quite nice. Like you see him driving here uh, all around. But it's, uh, it's good. But I'm so frustrated Hello to my loneliness I guess that ignorance is bliss Take me back to before You have like four different variants you can go for The ID3 Pure Performance That has a 45 kilowatt an hour battery That you have like uh, 150 horsepower and a range of just 348 kilometers. Then you also have the pro version, which this car is, with um, 145 horsepower. So a little bit less horsepower, but the battery is a bit heavier. It's a 58 kilowatt an hour battery, which makes the range 425 kilometers an hour. Also should mention the Zero to 100 in the pro in this car is 9.6 seconds in the pure performance. It was uh, 8.9 seconds. Then you also have the Pro Performance car. <laughs> a lot of variants you can go for with the 58 kilowatt battery again, like in the Pro, but with a bit more horsepower, 204, like I said, which makes the 0 to 100 time in just 7.3 seconds. And the range is also 425 kilometers an hour. Then the Pro S even, I think it's like the heaviest version you can go for. Then you have like the heavy battery of 77 kilowatts we had in the ID bus and also a 200 horsepower electric engine. Then you have like the biggest range of 548 kilometers or 340 miles, which is quite good. And the 8 second time from 0 to 100 kilometers an hour. So that are a bit the cars you can go for. Which yeah, is quite nice. I think I set the starting point of the price was at 50, but it's even cheaper. It's 30,000 euros, so not that bad. And then uh, also going to have a look here at the rear bench. You can also have a look at that, how big it is. Open the doors up, quite like the two tone on the interior. Yeah, looks Nice and comfortable in here. Again, some charging parts here on the rear. A lot of storage space. This one you can put down. Do you have like your cup holders most of the time? Yeah, looks good. Maybe get a quick seat in. Do the test. More than place enough, guys. That was my phone falling on the ground. <laughs> yeah, nice. Headroom enough. Good look here on the front. Yeah, guys, I think the ID3 will be becoming uh, the next best selling family car, probably, of uh, VW. Because it's like a Golf. You can easily sit in with five people. But then a full electric one, which is, of course, the future electric cars. And I, like I said, I am getting more and more used to it. 
de elektrische kar is iets, uh, iets fun te drive. They go off quite fast, like you see now. <laughs> If you push the troll, it really wants to go. And that's what I like, that uh, it has so, sort of a nice feeling to it. Of course, I want cars to make a, a great sound. But uh, yeah, the diesel and even the petrol cars <laughs> last year uh, weren't uh, yeah, that loud or even quite silent even. If you listen to a Porsche nowadays, <laughs> it's like, uh, is the engine even running? <laughs> Be a bit friendly. Let someone go between. Here you have an old one. <laughs> That's nice to pass it. <laughs> Not driving it now, but uh, yeah, just uh, did a test drive with the ID bus. And it was also quite fun. It wasn't that sporty as this one, but uh, yeah, it's a different, different car, of course. This is more of a small family car. I was just waiting to do this. <laughs> <laughs> you felt a bit of the G's <laughs> going between the corner. Now we're also driving it in sport mode, guys. Because, <laughs> yeah, that's what we want to drive it a bit sporty. That is a thing that you couldn't do with uh, the ID bus, of course, because it's a bus. But uh, yeah, for the golf guys <laughs> that want to drive a bit sporty, and uh, yeah, this will maybe be uh, as fast as the GDI. From zero to 100, because you have like all the power immediately to it. It's quite fun. Yeah, just some. Uh, yeah, like you see some uh, inner roads, some steady driving. But that's what most of people will do, I think, with this car. Also, just drive it on the highway, but that's a bit boring. Want to do this? I'm also gonna film it quickly on my phone, guys. <laughs> do like a fast pull up. So, guys, there we go. Zero to 100 in the new ID3. What? Hey, oh, guys. <laughs> That was quite fast. I'm gonna put my phone back. Uh, because I don't want to go to jail. <laughs> but uh, it's something that needed to be tested. This was a bit between uh, two fields. It was uh, just a little bit above the speed limit. <laughs> hey, I need to test it for you guys. Test all the cool things out. Cool lights here. Just press nowadays all the touchscreen. It's, it's quite fun nowadays that you have like, all the touchscreen to it. Yeah, actually quite enjoying to drive this car, guys. Who would have say, said it? But even with um, the other cars I drove was like the Mustang Mach E. It was also quite fun and fast to drive. Quite like that the Taycan Porsche also had like a quite a direct steering, which I liked. I said it isn't a real Porsche anymore. But it had the driving of a Porsche. The Mustang was also fast. And even this car is quite fun to drive. <laughs> It's maybe uh, weird to compare them with this car because uh, those two maybe are two times as expensive. Although the Mach E is to compare with the ID4, maybe. And yeah, just a nicely driving car. Quite like it. It's quite uh, cool. And now it's maybe time also, guys. Because I have this car for a bit longer, and uh, at, in a minute we'll talk a bit about the specs. Also show you the rear and the boot. But uh, it's also maybe time to talk a bit about uh, my journey. Because <laughs> uh, yeah, now one and a half years in. I think on this day it's like almost 2,700 of you guys that are following me, which I want to say a very big thanks to, to you all for. It uh, means a lot to me because I really, uh, I really am trying to make my job out of it. Uh, the last two months, I'm again uh, not working. <laughs> I've had worked like last year 
till the beginning of this year for a couple of months. Because you know, some of you will know that uh, push it a bit. <laughs> Last uh, summer I did a lot of traveling. I uh, quit my job uh, to do it, sold my car to do it. And uh, I have no regrets doing it, guys. I even say uh, if you want to do it, if you want to live your dream life, then you gotta make sacrifices. Now we're coming here a bit outside. Well, we're going to push it a little bit. Because <laughs> it was my dream, guys, to drive cars, to test them on a daily basis, even on a weekly basis, to share them with you guys and to do this is all I ever wanted to do because <laughs> it's just so fun guys I love cars it uh, means the world to me cars I wake up posting them I go to sleep posting cars even in between I'm watching uh, other car uh, youtubers their videos or other photographers uh, their beautiful pictures on Instagram because it's all I think about it's all I dream of it's uh, the way I like my life to be all around cars because you gotta live your passion in life guys it's uh, life's too short to do boring boring job that you don't like if you also want to start a youtube account just do it because yeah when i started there was a lot of uh, things holding me back of course but uh, actually when you're into it when you feed your soul guys that's how i call it I'm really feeding my soul. Oh, we're even behind the uh, tractor, but uh, yeah, we have time to talk a bit. When you're feeding your soul like I do, you really get very happy, guys. Um, I don't have a car. I'm like cycling for the last year while I was having a, a Mercedes-Benz five years before that. But actually this year it's been very good to me, guys. Um, it's hard. I don't still don't get a lot, a lot of uh, income from YouTube. But I, I really enjoy it. It makes me happy doing it. Days like this. I always will remember. I always remember all the cars that I've driven. It's it's really nice. It's really fun even to do. And um, yeah, it's what I actually wanted to do for quite a long time. And now I'm getting a bit carried on maybe. But um, I also have a lot of plans in the future that I want to share to, to um, maybe get you subscribed, maybe attract you a bit more to the channel from things that are to come. Or I'll be, I think I'll be going to the Spa, Spa Frank Show GT1. It's a new uh, racing class this year between hypercars with Pagani and, and cool cars like that. So that's uh, even here in Belgium, so I really need to get to there then um, it's like the first week of July then I'm also going to what which is a bit closer I think from now the seaside car show it's like next month I think in uh, Belgium in Knokke I think it is or in Heist and uh, then back to July I'm going to Goodwood Festival of Speed guys <laughs> that's one I'm quite looking forward to I've already bought the tickets last year I think in November because <laughs> I really wanted to go there I uh, yeah, didn't want to miss out on going there last year I've been to Monterey Car Week another big cool event of uh, cars and uh, yeah this year going to Goodwood will be also quite fun even in front of Goodwood. I'll be also going to Supercar Madness. I've been there last year and because I because it was a great turn up of uh, Supercar Madness cars. Oh, there we go guys! <laughs> oh, one hundred. This car really wants to go. <laughs> and the braking again is also quite good. Not bad. Not gonna complain. <laughs> bit of uh, <laughs> bit of a slide there because there was a bit of gravel on the road. <laughs> Those farmers should have thought, "Fuck that guy." 
Uh, but yeah, I like to try to let spoil you guys. It's, uh, it's uh, yeah, what I want to do with the channel, go racing. <laughs> but it's uh, <laughs> that's a long future. First, uh, get this thing a bit going. The car reviews, which I quite like. I don't try to make them that boring. <laughs> don't try to go that deep into all the specs and all the numbers. Because uh, I know that most of the people, just like I, don't care that much about it. They just want to know how much horsepower and things like that. So I don't make it that, um, yeah, that big. In fact, I talk about everything. But um, yeah, if you have like things that I should do better, I know my English isn't the greatest, but yeah, I am not from England or from America, I'm from Belgium. I uh, had some English on school, but it was like a couple of hours only, so it wasn't that uh, big. I had more French <laughs> than I actually had English quite fun here in Belgium that they teach you uh, French instead of English but it's in a lot of countries so I know that there can be things done better but if you have like uh, recommendings I sometimes try to fly with a drone but uh, yeah, there isn't always uh, time for that and I need extra people to do that so yeah most of the time like you see I'm uh, filming alone and making it alone and filming editing it all by my own so uh, yeah it's not that easy to do everything on your own but I try to make the best of it other cool things uh, I have planned I'm gonna test drive um, another car a Volvo in the next video <laughs> to let you guys know but uh, now I've parked up, we're uh, having a, maybe a look here on the rear and also at the boots and maybe a bit around the exterior and then we'll uh, continue the drive. Yeah, like I said, I uh, parked the car here up, but on the countryside here of Lommel. And uh, we'll have a look at the school Volkswagen. I said it's about to compare to a Volkswagen Golf, but it's a, yeah, a bit of a different form to it. Of course, you have the four-door setup, the batteries on the ground. And the fun thing is that uh, I also said maybe in the ID bus video is that I think the new Volkswagen design really smiles to you. <laughs> The, the grill here in front really looks like a, a mouth that smiles to you, that goes like a, a smiley. If like the cool matches again that we saw in the other design of the cars. Coming back, the cool LED, light, com LED stripe continuing on the headlights. And it's just a good look, I think, quite like the front of this Volkswagen. Nice badge in the center. Some cooling going down underneath. I come here to the side, cool wheel design, you can uh, opt for different wheel designs. This is the Pro Car, I should mention. Big thanks to A&M Automobile Group. Go a bit around, you have like the two doors. I think this is a bit higher than the standard Golf, but it's nice that you have a bit more uh, headroom. And the sporty back, I think. Cool lights here of Volkswagen. Quite like and um, the car with the lines in is, is a good design. It, uh, yeah, it's nice to look at. Gonna press here on the Volkswagen badge. Oh, it's not automatic. Thought it would be automatic. It's an option probably. And open the boot up. There we see the chargers. Quick charger, I think, and your regular charger. To put like on a regular charging port. And of course you can put the seats down you have like some extra space but yeah still a decent boot here in the center if you want to put like some skis through you can also do that so big enough to do like your daily uh, daily grocery shopping and or even maybe take on a trip of course if you want uh, a big car to go to uh, some road trips then the id bus would probably be better 
But it's a good look, I think. What do you guys think? It's already a bit sort of the spoiler going there. Looks good to me. Then I'm gonna talk to you a bit about through the specs. Like the ID bus, the same 204 horsepower electric engine. This time a little bit less newton meters of torque, only 275 newton meters of torque. This is an automatic car, of course, like all the electric cars. But the fun thing is that it's rear wheel driven. And I think I almost felt it already that it was driving that uh, fun and fast and even twisty bit. Which is quite nice. It has a 58 kilowatt battery, not the 77 kilowatt we had in the ID bus. Yeah, of course, it's a five door car. You can sit it with five people. It's four meters, 261 millimeters long, and it's a one meter 80 wide. There we go again, guys. It's time to bring it back. <laughs> Even running a bit out of time. So, good thing that there is a sport mode on this car. <laughs> Drive. <laughs> ah, that's the fun thing what I like about the electric cars. The zero to one hundred is quite fast. You can really even take it through some cornering. But that's fun. That's what I like. Driving a bit sporty. The brakes are also quite good. Yeah, and I quite like it. Quite like the look. The Volkswagens are uh, good looking uh, family cars, I think. They uh, smile a bit. They don't look. Uh, like they, you want all the attention, but they still have a good design. They are not like a boring car to look at or something. That's uh, with most of the normal cars that they're quite boring most of the time, that there isn't put much effort in the design. But you really see it on this car. They really uh, put some effort on the interior, on the exterior to make it look good. Still make it look sporty, but still like all the trends try to do, give it a, a different vibe. The electric cars set it a bit apart, like they call the call it the ID range at Volkswagen, and you really see it. The ID bus and the ID3 and the ID4, they uh, have sort of a cool look with the special matches in the grill in the front and the continuing lighting in the front and the rear lights. So that's a design that they really managed to do quite well. I quite like uh, to drive it. It's a cool car. This. ID3 and I, uh, I would even recommend it if you're looking for a, a hatchback or a family car full electric one. I think from the pricing point, Volkswagen, this ID3 is probably, I don't know, sure, but one of the cheapest cheapest to, to buy now, I think, from starting from 30,000 euros, maybe spec it for 35. So it's like, uh, yeah, it's like all the new cars. I like it that uh, they managed to get it a bit more affordable. The, all the electric cars were a bit expensive. That's what I said on the Mach E that it was a bit expensive. But yeah, it's an older car. It's more of a luxury car. The yeah, it's called the Mustang, so uh, <laughs> you expect more of it. And this ID3 really. Uh, lives up to its uh, to its hype. It drives better, of course, as the bus I drove. Although it had has almost uh, the same setup, but yeah, this is a lighter car. It's smaller, so uh, that's why it drives uh, a bit faster. <laughs> you see how much how fast you can actually overtake someone. That's fun. <laughs> Good looking car. Uh, to end guys, 
I want to say a very big thanks to Volkswagen for making it possible. I want to thank you guys all for watching. I also want to say do subscribe on the channel because um, yeah, we'll make keeping uh, keeping making videos guys for you guys. And like I said, I have some uh, cool things planned in the future. That was a close one, but <laughs> well, it took like four cars at once. <laughs> I have a lot of cool things planned in the future, like uh, the Festival of Speed in Goodwood, the Pafranker show I'm going to, maybe even the Nürburgring I'm checking out this summer. So, uh, yeah, I tested some more normal cars, but of course, supercars are my big dream. Or uh, the cars I want to share the most to, but I do make these videos to get more audience, of course, to uh, get more of you guys to know me that I like cars and that I like to share cars with you and that it's what I will be doing for uh, quite a long time I think so thank you guys all for watching really appreciate it and see you in the next video bye and to end guys I want to say a very big thanks to all of you for watching I really appreciate it that you guys uh, follow me and um, that you enjoy watching the reviews I do about all the cool new cars I'm uh, yeah, quite happy with uh, how things are going. So uh, if you aren't subscribed already, then please do subscribe and press the notification bell, guys. And see you in the next review. Peace out.